Welcome back to Studio 14. We're backstage at the Buffalo Chip. I'm hanging out with Ed from Collective Soul. What's going hey, on, buddy? Hey, Chris, I just messed this up. Oh, no, we're rocking and rolling here. I believe in us. Yeah. We're getting the microphone. Oh, like I'm Bob Barker then back. With the long mics, you know? Oh, I love that. Can you Bob hear me? Bob Barker's Price is Right. Yeah, right? that's right. What's, that's your favorite, what's your favorite Price is Right game? <laughs> I don't know any of that. <laughs> All right, let's get serious. Okay. Your album just came out. Correct. Another album, June 21st, correct? Correct. Right, and we're touring on that right now. Also an anniversary right. of a really big deal album. Life is good right now, huh? Life is real good. 25 years to be in this business is good. And to be here at Sturgis and, you know, chairing the stage with sticks, that's kind of... Not bad. Yeah, dude. This is exciting. It is. Motorcycles, music, oh, 25 yeah. years of a killer album. Do they have a zip line out there this year? Dude, there's a zip line. There are going to be so many people who can't wait to zip line to collect this Because that's what we uh, we remembered last year. I mean, you're playing and all of a sudden, we go yeah. by. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. When, the, when you're on the zip line and it hits like your favorite part of your favorite song, <laughs> it's, a, it's like nothing else matters. It's, like, it's just, I wish that you guys could play on the zip line. Would you ever would you ever sing on a zip line? Oh yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, we uh, should make that happen. Yeah, I've seen Kiss enough to see Gene Simmons lifted up in the air with a zip line. I love it. I, I do too. It. Well, what do you want to tell us about this new album, Blood? Well, it started out to be a, a double album, and then uh, our management was like, you know, in the day's world, nobody makes double albums. So this is the first part. This is side. Uh, this is side two, and side four of what. Did a double album, so this the second record will come out next year. Wow! So we just we just got in the groove, and you know we we tour a lot, so we've been on the road for three years after the last recording. So when we got in the studio. I mean, it was literally a song a day. Just let's go. That's impressive. That's your tenth studio album, correct? Correct. So eleven's next year. Eleven's next year. And you just had a birthday. I did. Dude, I'm not eleven. <laughs> that I can tell you. I well, actually multiply it time five. I'm close to that. 56. 56? Yeah. You think you'll make to 56 albums? No. At this rate, hey, I don't know, at this rate you might. I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know, 20. I, w I wouldn't mind getting to 20. Something about that sounds special. When we started, I always said, you know, back in the day of CDs, they were like, what do you hope for your band? I said, I wanted a whole rack of CDs. So it was different music. Now, now you just do numbers. I want 20 studio recordings. <laughs> Halfway there. Hey, I love that. Hey, e, let's have a little bit of fun. You know, we're interviews rock and roll, and you got to show a little bit here at the Buffalo Chip. I'm gonna ask you a few fun questions because we just like to learn, like, like to learn new stuff about people. Okay. 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 Let's do this. What do you think is the most significant invention in the history of the world? Don't think too much. What well, do you got? Well, I would say light. Light. That's good. They're like you know electricity lights. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, what movie have you watched the greatest number of times? Uh, probably Big Lebowski, Forrest Gump. They all kind of, kind of mend together because you're on the bus so long. And anytime, yeah. anytime one of those come on, you kind of go, hmm, we're gonna watch that. Okay, what is the biggest fad or trend that you yourself have ever gotten wrapped up into? Uh, what's the old haircut? Where the mullet? The mullet. <laughs> Hey, if you, if you hit I, lived albums, there, I lived the mullet years, man. It was the '80s, and I'm from the South, so the <laughs> mullet years were. You know, you, and if you if you had enough money, you could actually perm it back there too. So Whoa. that was, yes, that was my youth. Hmm. Okay, we got to get you playing your songs on a zip line with a with mullet, a mullet. for the twenty year anniversary or for the twenty year for the twentieth album. Twentieth. If if I get twenty, I will do that. <laughs> okay, finally. If I have hair at that point, still. But <laughs> <laughs> what are you most proud of in your entire career? Proudest achievement off the top of your head. My children. The children. Yeah, my boys. Yeah, how old are they? Uh, one just turned 10 and the other one turns 21 in two days. 21 and 10. Mm -hmm. Are they close? They are. They're very close. They're different mothers, but everybody gets along. It's a functional, dysfunctional family, if it, it is, to say the least. They live a couple miles down the road and her uh, fiance play cello on our records. So everybody gets along great, but they're really... Lennon's my youngest and Lindsay Chris is the oldest, so they Lennon really looks up to Lindsay and it's, it's, it's fun to watch them kind of just, you know, it, it, it's never been about a half-brother or anything like that. They're brothers. They, they really enjoy each other. So that's, that's the greatest. Achievement. That is so sweet. I don't know these guys, but I'm so sweeted out by that. That's very, uh, that's, that's, that's very cool. I dig well, that. Thank you. Yeah, family first, man. Family first. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us backstage, Ed. you got a show about to happen here at the Buffalo Chip. Yes, uh, sir. We're all going to check out Blood, the new album, and we're going to wait do. for the 11th album Correct. next year. You want to know what the title is? Yeah. Red. 
so we got a blood red. We were going to do Brothers, but I think uh, didn't uh, Black Black Keys had a record called Brothers, so we couldn't do that. So we decided we'll make a double album afterwards and just call it Blood Red. I love it. Blood 2019, Red 2020. Happy mm -hmm. late birthday. Thank you, buddy. And uh, enjoy the rest of the Buffalo Chip. Have a good show. I will. Thank you so All much. Right. Pleasure, Collective buddy. soul, y'all.